So guess what? That right wire gets ripped out every time I back over something. Today, it's got me doing right now is moving this stuff with the grapple bucket, so that's what I'm gonna do. Put it in a spot that I can chew some of it up. Just make sure we have a good day doing it. Uh, we're, we're trying to beat the rain. I've been coming out here in the afternoon instead of doing it for a full day, simply because we got some water coming and we wanted to get this thing done so that he could just be done because we've been doing a lot for him. He just wants to get me paid and get this thing over with. So, but like I was saying. I'm gonna come over here, we're gonna try to knock this thing out today, try to get it all done today. We're gonna cut the fence line. We're gonna do the, we're gonna move the trees, try to push a couple trees over and try to get this thing done as fast as possible. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna hop out. I uh, appreciate you guys. I'll see you in a little bit.
here's my other issue. This, this right here, if you guys can see it, it's getting dark. But this is what initiates the connector for the attachments. Well, when this wire gets ripped out, which there's a protective thing right here, but when I bought this machine, it didn't come with it because you can see where the wire goes. It goes in this hole right here. The hole right there. So guess what? That right wire gets ripped out every time I back over something. So I got to figure out how I'm going to do without getting that to happen. Maybe put some conduit, like some actual electrical conduit through here. I don't know, but we're going to rewire it tonight and just hope that it don't happen again. That's just the way it goes. All right, this is day three. <laughs> we thought I was gonna do it in two. But uh, we've got a little issue, you know, about three quarters of the way through the job. And that issue was this right here. But this is actually the only wire that goes down into the, the quick attachment piece for this machine. And I think I sort of explained that all this does, this is the one wire that is just out here in oblivion goes through this hole here it goes all the way across and the motor that engages and disengages the implement is on this side that's where it connects so i'm just going to take and what wire i've got left over over here we're going to run it through the motor's right here and i'm going to pop this top off we're going to try to get it wired back up i've still got all the pieces for it because when it pulled out i was like wow there it is yeah let's just jump into it so we can get this job rolling let's pop this top off right here and let's get it working. It's just a 13 millimeter bolt. It's gonna come right out. There, I'm about to say it won't gonna come out. There we go. Okay, so here's our motor right here. I don't know if you can see it, but this is our motor. And there are wires that go to it right here. And they just pulled apart, which was good because I kind of wanted it to be that way. Last time it broke, I was more worried about tearing the whole thing out. But what we've got now is just we had the wires get pulled apart and sort of cut. I think I'm gonna be able to run it through and get it to where it's fixed. We just put red to red, black to uh, yellow, and then it runs perfect. So I'm actually gonna pop off this right here so that we can get a look down into the cab, see where that wire's going. It's not a big opening, but it gets the job done for what we're trying to do. You can see down inside it where the wire is going to be going. So let's get this thing figured out. All right, so we just did a basic wiring job there. You know, red to red, not to knot. And I sort of zip tied them. That's just for peace of mind, I guess. But it just runs right through there. So I'm going to connect them here, connect these two. This is just a temporary fix now, guys. Just remember that. Get it set up and come back later this week and probably fix it like it needs to be. All right, so we got it wired. It ain't the prettiest. It's wired down in here, too. I think you can see it right there. We're going to try to see if it'll work. So I'm going to back the camera up just a hair. See if we can't get this mulcher to disengage. If we can do that, we'll bolt everything back up. Get on trailer, get back to the job.
ended up doing Chris Law, he actually had, he, we, we talked about one thing and he added a couple more things which is fine I've gotten a lot of work from him so I don't mind helping him so we decided to push everything in some piles and burn it this is where we're at we sort of stacked up some of those bigger ones back here in the back but those are going to be some good bone piles when I get the excavator I'm going to come in here pull this out if he wants me to this little ditch bank but here's the creek bed I was talking about Yeah. Huge difference. Huge difference. Hope you enjoyed the content, guys. Don't forget, comment, like, subscribe down below. We'll see you in the next one. I'm Lance Honeycutt's Brush. Out.